Hey guys, um, how's it going? I'm I use, I'm using the Beat Buddy from Singular Sound, and uh, I was trying to figure out how in 2019 uh, October here to add music on my Macintosh um, using the Beat Buddy Beat Buddy Manager 1.64.1, and I couldn't find any good tutorials, so um, uh, I just wanted to make one. I thought. That could help you guys out. I'm 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 gonna install this from a blank SD card. So I I, I go to this site here and um, scroll down to um, SD card backup. It says you know lost your SD card. This is a file that contains all the content. So you can just click on here. I already did it. So just to make things quicker, download it took a couple minutes. Took some time and um, it's in downloads here. And go ahead and just open it up and you can just like choose all of this and copy it to the SD card and um, you know it'll take some time here to copy it but not too long I think and uh, at this point it, it will like if you were to take this after you copied all this stuff put it into the beat buddy it would come out with all of the things that are on the uh, SD card that you get with the Beat Buddy when you buy it, so it'll it'll all be there, and um, it'll work. And I've I've already done this, of course, so I, I know. But again, my problem was that I bought some uh, some beats that I wanted to put onto this, and I couldn't figure out how to exactly add them. And some of the tutorials that I looked at were were really not very explanatory. So I, I want to show you guys now from here how I went about doing it. Okay, we're just about finished here. And, um, yeah, hopefully this will help you out because I spent a lot of time doing this. So, um, I also already downloaded the Beat Buddy Manager. And so, you know, you just go to Beat Buddy Manager, open it up, and that's what you get. So uh, when you go to File, Open Project, and click on the No Name, which is the SD card, um, it uploads everything. And uh, it you know it takes a couple seconds, but it's it's pretty quick anyway. So when this finishes. Let me ask you a couple questions here, like, it looks like you're loading a project directly to the SD card, uh, copy it to the disk, just choose yes. Okay, and make a name for it, it's uh, um, uh, SD card uh, beat buddy, that's what I want to call it, and save it to, I'll save it to the desktop, can I do that? Um, oh yeah, to the desktop here. I'll save it there, and then it copies all the files right onto the desktop. And this takes a couple seconds too. Okay, so when this finishes. Um, uh, it will ask you, do you want to link the new project for synchronization in the future? Yes, just choose yes. Okay, now my main point is I want to add those files that I already downloaded. So I choose import, and I, you don't want to import the song. I, I imported, oh, you want to go to the folder, okay? And you want to import these folders that you've downloaded. I go to my downloads, and I find the credence here that I wanted to download. And um, you find the file that is the PBF file, and you choose open. Okay, and you see it's made a new file here called Credence Colorado Revival, and that's all those, those songs, okay? And then from here, I just want to go ahead and before I export it to this project, to the, C, uh, the SD card, I want to synchronize project. Okay, and it says choose yes, 
Then go to export and export to SD card. It says, is that the where, where you want it? Yes. Do you want to override it? Yes. And it's copying the files. And this will take a couple seconds here. It recopies everything, I guess, including the uh, the files that are already added to that. Um, but uh, this will be the final step. And if I want to add another uh, set of music to this same SD, I can go ahead and do it. And going through the same process, uh, I, all I need to do is just go to um, uh, File and uh, Import import file, not songs and it should work. Let's get into the end of this. And and I couldn't find any information about this, so I just wanted to help you guys out, uh, you, you Mac users who are using the Beat Buddy, because this is really cool, but it was just much more confusing than it was understandable for me. So I thought I might be able to help you guys out and let you uh, be able to add these files really easily without uh, too much consternation. Looks like we're coming up right to the end. And it says, do you want to, do you want to link the exported project for future synchronization? Just choose yes. And then you are done. If you want to go ahead and add some other files, which actually I do want to, you can import again, import folder. Um, I wanted to add this other file here. And you want to go to the PBF file, not the songs. Just choose open. It'll do all the same stuff. And then choose synchronize project. Choose yes. And then export project. Oh, wait till it synchronizes. But after it synchronizes, go ahead and choose uh, uh, project SD card, and you'll be good. Okay? Have a good one, you guys. There we go.